some more. I, I got it. Mr. Grant, thank you. Would you like to come in for iced coffee? Uh, not today. But thanks. Thanks. Happy 40th anniversary, sweetheart. just happened. Phyllis! Oh, why are you dressed like that? <laughs> oh, and why does our apartment look like Grand Central? Ghosts don't exist. What was that, Gabriel? I've been dead two years? I just got some bad liquor, that's all. He drank my ashes? Whoa! Oh no, this must be dementia. Well, you're drinking them with 1986 vintage Crown Regal must be the reason you can see me. Don't ask me how this happened. I have to go lay down. <laughs> Haven't you met someone new by now? You're the only woman for me. Listen, you living alone and in train world isn't healthy. You have to find someone new. I'm too old for romance. <laughs> I can help you meet someone. I know words don't come easy for you when you're around females, but I can tell you what to say. Only you drank my ashes, which means only you can see and hear me. Okay, is there someone you're interested in? Oh, no. <laughs> Why don't I believe him? Uh, there, there is uh, Mrs. Moore. Uh, that mousy woman next door? She happens to be a very nice lady. Don't you have any other prospects? No, 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 no. no. Well, I suppose she beats toy trains. Come on, I don't know how much longer I have to be here, so let's get started. This is more. Oh my God. Oh, by Mr. Clarence. Now say, I was wondering if you have dinner plans. Now say, I was wondering if you had dinner plans. Uh, no, I, I don't. How do spaghetti and meatballs at my place in an hour sound? How, how does spaghetti in an hour place sound? And meatballs! <laughs> uh, lovely. Uh, is there something I can bring? Just your pretty self. Say it. 
uh, just uh, just your pretty self. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Chris. Please call me Stu. <laughs> please call me Sue. <laughs> Stu. And please call me Joanne. I will see you in an hour, Stu. <laughs> Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Congratulations. What's death like? Oatmeal with nothing on it. <laughs> I miss your humor. <laughs> That's why you must live now. You wouldn't be jealous if something sparked between me and Mrs. Moore. Mrs. Moore. Under no circumstances are you to bore her with train talk. I suddenly don't feel so good. Go on to the door. Go on. Go on. Ooh, compliment her, Stu. Uh, Mrs. Moore, <laughs> Joanne, you look uh, very nice. You too, Stu. <laughs> now invite her in. Won't you come in? Would you care for a drink? Would you like a drink? That, that would be lovely. I think it's important to have a hobby. Do you have a hobby, Joanne? Uh, do you have any hobbies, Joanne? Uh, well, I like to go dancing. But since Louie died, I have no one to go with. I'd love to go dancing with you sometime. <laughs> now make a toast. Uh, to, uh, uh, Old neighbors becoming new friends. Old neighbors becoming new friends. <laughs> it's Crown Royal, vintage 1986. Should we eat while the food is warm? Shall we eat? Pull out the chair for her. My mother's recipe. My mother's Stu, don't slouch. I'm not. Excuse me? <laughs> I've just served the wine already. <laughs> After Louis died, I felt like my life was over. Reaching out to others is the only way to get through it. Reaching out to others is the only way to get through it. Stu, this was delicious. Shall we move to the sofa where it's more comfortable? Uh, shall we move to the couch? It's more comfortable. Move closer to her. If you don't mind my saying so, you are uncharacteristically conversational this evening. I just felt it was time to get to know each other better. I just felt it was time for us to get to know each other better. <clears throat> Remember this song? I haven't heard it in years. Would you care to dance? What are you waiting for? Excuse me a minute. Come on. You 
No, I can't dance. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with toy trains? I'm not going to make a fool of myself. Romance requires risk. Now get out there and dance with her. Uh, would, would you, uh, would you care to, uh, dance? Before we go on, Stu, I think there's something I should tell you. What's that? Ask her about her grandchildren. This isn't easy for me. Okay, talk about trains. Go on, Joanne. It's something my husband confessed to me on his deathbed. Trains now! He told me... Oh, my ashes are in there! Not that one! He told me he and your wife had a five-year affair. Ah. Uh. <gasps> this is Grant! <sighs> is this true? Why? I was lonely. You never talked to me. All you cared about were those stupid trains. I loved you. Then why didn't you tell me? What, Gabe? My time here is up? Oh, no, you don't. I don't have a choice. Listen, Stu, with Joanne, you have a chance to do things right. What do I say to her when she wakes up? Talk to her. Listen to her. Dance with her. Phyllis. I think 1986 was a bad year for Crown Regal. I hallucinated your dead wife was here. I'm sorry I told you about the affair. I'm afraid I wasn't the most attentive husband in the world. Makes you feel any better, I wasn't the best wife either. I was a nag. You want me to go? <laughs> Would you like to dance? Oh, yes. Trouble is, I don't know how. Oh, it's easy. I'll show you. Now, put this hand here and this one here, like this, and then you just close your eyes and let the music move your feet. You're dancing, Stu. I'm dancing, Joanne. I'm dancing. <laughs> Thank you.